Purple mirror. If you remember these two words, by the time you turn 20, you will die. The reason for that is because there is a hidden curse behind those words. Long ago, there was a young girl who enjoyed playing tricks. This girl received a valuable hand mirror from her parents, which she then painted purple. She thought she would be able to remove the paint if she didn't leave it for too long, but no matter what she did, the paint refused to come off. Filled with regret, the girl muttered, Purple mirror, purple mirror, over and over until her death on the day of her 20th birthday. Ever since that day, the girl's feelings towards that purple mirror were transferred to the words themselves. And all those under 20 who remember them will die, just like she did. Hello, and welcome to Toshiden, exploring Japanese urban legends. I'm your host, Tara A. Devlin, and on this show, we'll be looking at different urban legends from Japan, how they came about, and, when possible, the truth behind them. I'd like to take this opportunity to say a big hello to all of our new listeners, and thank you to everyone who contacted me about last week's show. I received a lot of positive comments from people who enjoyed the episode, so I'd like to thank each and every one of you for listening to the show. I put a lot of work into the research behind these legends, so it's always nice to hear from people that they're enjoying the show. Now, on this week's episode, we're going to be looking at the Purple Mirror, or Murasaki Kagami, urban legend. If you're under 20, you might want to skip this one. I first heard of this story myself when I was living in Japan, and... Although it's not as common amongst Western audiences as, say, Kuchisake Onna or Kashima-san, it's one of the more popular urban legends in Japan today. Ask anyone in the street and chances are high they've heard of it before. At its most basic, this legend is about two words. In English, purple mirror. And in Japanese, Murasaki Kagami. If you remember those two words, by the time you turn 20, you will either be cursed or you will die. If, for some reason, you don't think about those two words together, then there's no problem. But we all know how well we go when we're told not to do something, and that's the charm behind this legend. By telling you not to remember those two words, it's pretty much guaranteeing that you will. The Purple Mirror urban legend originally sprang to life from the following story. A young girl was hospitalised with immune impairment. Her body was so weak that she spent most of her teens in a hospital bed. For her birthday one year, her parents gave her an extremely cute hand mirror. You might be wondering why it was a hand mirror. But this was a time before Japan experienced rapid economic growth. The girl fell in love with that hand mirror. She looked into it every single day and treated it like a precious object. Until one day. One day, for some unknown reason, the girl painted the hand mirror purple. According to her own words, This was because she liked the colour purple. Even so, her actions were clearly strange. Suddenly coming back to herself, the girl looked upon the purple mirror and was shocked. She tried desperately to peel the purple paint off, but it was stuck there, and in the end she couldn't remove it. 
Her beloved mirror that she had received as a present was now purple, and she was unable to use it any longer. Of course, it could be said that sickness and health start with the mind, and the girl was so shocked by what happened that her illness worsened right before their eyes. In order to brighten their daughter up again, the girl's parents presented her with another mirror, but she wasn't interested in it. The girl took her last breaths whilst holding that purple mirror, muttering, Purple mirror, purple mirror. She was 19 years old, only days away from her 20th birthday. That girl's grudge lives on in the words, purple mirror. And children who remember those words will meet an unfortunate fate. There are a few variations on the purple mirror legend. The word and origin of the story vary from generation to generation and area to area. The cursed words vary from Murasaki no Kagami, Murasaki Kagami, and even the English Papuru Mira. The fate one will meet also changes. It's not necessarily always death. In many versions of the story, one will simply meet with misfortune. For example, they won't be able to get married in the future. And while 20 is the main age in most cases, some variations see the age changed to 18, 15, or the even more vague, until graduation. The following version of the tale is told in the Kansai area. There was a girl who was approaching her 20th birthday. She was looking forward to wearing her best clothes for her upcoming coming of age ceremony. But sadly for her, that day never came. The girl died in a traffic accident. The girl had a purple mirror that she treasured. Her family considered placing it in her coffin, but even though she always kept this mirror on her person, it was nowhere to be found, and the funeral proceeded without it. A short while later, a terrible rumour about the girl began to spread. She was dating a boy of less than reputable reputation while alive, and things turned sour when she suggested they break up, which was why she died. Not only that, the purple mirror had been a gift from that boy. The rumours were groundless, and it was none other than one of her friends that started them. The day of the coming of age ceremony arrived, and the friend who started the rumours of the dead girl disappeared. Not only had the girl gone missing, but they also found the aforementioned purple mirror in her bedroom. The girl was never seen again, and her parents ended up dying due to anxiety. The reason the words purple mirror are cursed is because of this bizarre incident. So, supposing that you're younger than 20, and now you know that if you remember these two words, you'll be cursed, or even worse, die, what can you do? The most common method proposed for avoiding a terrible fate is to say white crystal, or shiro suisho in Japanese. White crystals were long considered holy in Shinto religion, and are said to be strong enough to break the curse of the purple mirror. For those who want something a little more physical, you can try crossing a pedestrian crossing by only stepping on the white lines. This will supposedly break the curse as well. 
if you want to go one better, and not just break the curse, but have yourself a happily ever after, you can say the words pink mirror. This will supposedly bring you good fortune in the future, as opposed to a horrible and messy death. Another option is the words gold potato. No reason is given as to why these phrases bring good luck, but it certainly can't hurt to try. But why the words purple mirror? How did these two words come to be chosen as the cursed words of a generation? There are two schools of thought as to why these specific words are thought to be a curse. The first comes from Hansen's disease, or leprosy. According to those who saw people suffering from the disease, the inflamed sores of the body appeared to be purple. Combined with the fear of death that came from the disease, and you have the potential for ill will against the colour. Another theory suggests it has nothing at all to do with the colour or object. Simply that the words Murasaki Kagami combined give a strange, ambiguous, and mysterious feel. The more you think about them, the more they get stuck in your head. And when you're trying very hard not to remember them so you don't die, the curse becomes self-fulfilling. If you've yet to turn 20, never fear. Remember, you can just say pink mirror and all will be well. Although, now that you've been told not to, it may be hard to stop thinking about the words purple mirror. That's how the curse gets you, after all. And that's all for this week's show. Don't forget, you can support this show and get even more urban legends by heading over to Amazon and grabbing Toshiden, exploring Japanese urban legends right now. The book is available in ebook, paperback, or you can read it for free with Kindle Unlimited. You can also join our Patreon for early access to both this show and Kowabana, true Japanese scary stories from around the internet, as well as bonus episodes and much more. Head over to kowabana.net to find all those links. And I'll see you again next time for even more Toshiden, exploring Japanese urban legends. Want even more scary stories? Head over to koobana.net for new translations every week. You can also join our Patreon for exclusive stories you won't find anywhere else. Head over to koobana.net now.